welcome to a new vlog. If you don't know me already, hi, I'm Elsa and I'm a freelance illustrator. I decided to vlog again this week because I really liked doing it the last time, so I just wanted to do it again. Um, it's Monday today and you already saw me having breakfast and co-working with my friend Tanya. Uh, she's a talented photographer and I'll leave her links below. And now it's the afternoon and I'll just keep working and I hope you want to come along with me. Welcome to Tuesday. Uh, it's a local holiday here today in Lisbon. I'm, I'm, I live in Lisbon. I haven't told you about that, but well, now you know. Um, and if I was working for somebody else, I'd be, I wouldn't be working today, and that would be very nice. But since I'm a freelancer, it's just like any other day. Uh, I've been working on the commission that I told you about yesterday. And I'm really liking the results so far. Uh, I'm just going to send it to the client today, I think. And in the afternoon, I'm going to be working on that book that I've been telling you about. something that could be interesting to show you because you saw me working on the, the sketch for this work uh, last week and by the time you see this I have already sent it to the to the client the final result so it's fine that I'm showing you this um, it's this illustration it was uh, for a couple whose uh, family name is fish so they wanted me to make something to do with fishes um, and it was quite fun to work on this uh, under, underwater, underwater uh, design because I haven't done much of those, so it was quite fun to do. Uh, and it has a, a sentence, uh, it's in Portuguese, but it says, With so many fishes in the sea, how lucky are we that we have found each other? And it's quite cute, and I really like the, the final results, so I wanted to share with you. Wednesday. I feel like I did a terrible job at vlogging today because I've been mostly just sitting on my desk and that's not very interesting to film. So I thought I could maybe add a little heart haul to this video because I haven't done one of those ever and I don't usually buy uh, many stuff, many art stuff. So I thought I could maybe add it to this video. I'll start with the biggest and most expensive thing that I bought which was this paper. Uh, from this brand that I can't pronounce and I tried it on the store and I thought it was pretty cool so I'm gonna use it for my watercolor work and I think I'll like it. I also bought this brush marker from Windsor & Newton mainly because I haven't tried it yet so I wanted to. It's in the shade Pink Pearl and I think it's quite pretty. I also bought this, um, I bought three very thin brushes because I, I didn't own any um, precision brushes and I wanted to have some. I also bought this 
Art Masking Liquid Marker from Molotel, I think it's the name of the brand. And it's also for my watercolor work and I'm excited to try it, if it's good or not. I'll let you know if you want. Lastly, I bought this art eraser from Faber-Castell, or Faber-Castell, I don't know. I usually only use regular erasers and I thought if I wanted to call myself an artist, I needed to have a cool eraser like this and that's mainly why I bought it. And those were my purchases. I hope you like this little art haul bit. it's the end of the vlog. I hope you liked it, even though, well, not much happened. I mostly spent the days working at my desk, but I hope you liked it anyway. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And also, please let me know if there's any kind of videos you'd like to see from me so that I know to do them. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it, but anyway, let's roll with it. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye!